Good morning guys, it's day two here in here in Placencia, Belize. As you can probably see, the weather is really ugly right now. Like raining. Um, there was like a rainstorm last night and the weather's supposed to be bad all today. I was um, planning on doing a video today showing Placencia properly since yesterday we went on the boat tours, but yeah, I'm not sure how it's gonna be. I'm still gonna try and make a video and show you around. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the weather's not gonna be that nice the whole day. So I might as well show you the place that we've been staying. We're at this really nice hotel here called Serenade. So this is the room that we've been staying at. We've got a double bed, little sofa, microwave TV, fridge. Hello, Carol. Hi, good morning. <laughs> it's got a pretty good bathroom as well. So this hotel here was uh, $60, so it was more expensive, obviously, than where we stayed in Kikorka because we stayed there for $11 per person, $22 overall. We were looking for cheap places here, but we literally couldn't find anything. Yeah, but it's a pretty good, pretty good hotel room, so we ended up spending three nights here. And I'll show you the outside of it as well, it looks pretty nice. So we are on the second floor here, got the nice hammock here. Lots of cool nature, awesome palm trees. Here you have the front of our hotel, nice and colorful, like a lot of the buildings here. And then you can see just over here, you got the beach, just like not even a minute walk. So really good location. Then here is like the little boardwalk parallel to the beach where you have all like restaurants, bars, Souvenir shops, also uh, places to stay, hotels. Ready for breakfast? Yes, I am. Hungry. <laughs> Now we're on a mission to find a place to have breakfast. Everywhere that we pass is closed, I guess because of the, the weather. But yeah, we need to find somewhere to eat. So let's see if we can find something. All right, we found a place open, the Shack Beach Cafe. Here you can see the breakfast menu. We've got stuff for like seven US dollar, five US dollar, six US dollar. And I think I'm gonna go for the three plain pancakes, five dollars. See this place is right on the beachfront. Looks pretty cool, colorful. Here it is. Three pancakes, we got watermelon juice, $2.50 as well. Carol got, what's that? Sausages, eggs, and pancakes. How much was that, do you know? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> breakfast you have another like little beach here we kind of like around the bay from where we were yesterday so it's less windy here the weather's kind of opened up but still not nice enough to go for a swim and the lady told me yesterday that this part of the beach is a lot better for swimming because since the wind's not hitting here there's less seaweed here so yeah a lot nicer to swim but I'll probably get my drone out I didn't think I'll be able to fly it today it is a bit windy so I have to be careful but yeah I should be able to get some nice shots of here Yeah, 
yeah, it probably wasn't the best idea to go on a flight. My my app was basically telling me straight away, like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, it told me to land ASAP, but I still got to get, get some shots. And right now we're heading to like some mangroves on the other side of this little island. It'll hopefully be very little wind at all, so be a bit more peaceful. What? Oh, they... Wow. Wait, let me see one. Wait, wait, which one are you gonna touch? This one. Okay, do it. <laughs> They're close. That's crazy. How did you know that? Uh, we had that in Brazil. Really? Yeah, do me the eater. I didn't know about this, but Carol did. Check this out. Wait. They close when you touch them. <laughs> That's cool. Nature. A jungle woman. Jungle woman, Carol. Straight from Brazil. So we've been walking around. We found like a, an amazing little spot here. Check out this. It's like a kind of like a private beach, pretty much. Nobody's here at all. Nobody's even walking around. Just really beautiful here. Awesome palm trees as usual. You can see over there in the distance, you've got another little island. It's called Placencia Key. Then behind you got these like cool little beach huts. Doesn't look like anyone's in them. Be an awesome place to stay. Check it out. accidentally come into some resort we couldn't even tell it was a resort opening but we just realized I think we're in a resort but they have like a tower on top of all the buildings here so we come to the top of them and yeah up here the views pretty awesome so you can see this resort seems to have some sort of like private river going through it and then that's the kind of tower we're on right now and then on this side you still have the little beaches as well Yeah, so imagine staying in a place like this. Alright, we come back to the hotel room again from that little walk. In case you were wondering that point where we were at was like the southest you could possibly go here in um, Placencia. So in case you want to walk around those beaches. To me that was the nicest place we've, we've been here in Placencia. We didn't even know about it. It was just going on a little adventure and found really remote beaches, nice and peaceful. So yeah. And another thing I wanted to talk about is when I told people I was coming here to Belize, everyone always thinks about like the, the danger, they think it's dangerous here, the crime rates, but if you go to the touristic areas, it's like, it's the safest I've ever felt really, like, you don't feel danger at all, it's super chill, laid back, like, everything just seems relaxed, I don't feel unsafe at all, so, yeah. And I think right now, we're just gonna get another bite to eat at a restaurant, like, pretty hungry. Okay, we come to a cool spot right on the beach. It's called Tipsy Tuna, right here in like the the main part of Placencia. Really nice. We haven't eaten this close to the beach yet. Check it out. So here in front, everyone having a good time. Looks pretty cool.
<laughs> We're back on the main beach here in Placencia again. For those of you that didn't see it in yesterday's video, this is what it looks like here. Very windy right now. Lots of seaweed on the front because of the wind, so nobody's really swimming. It's cool as well, but um, the part that we went to early where it was more relaxed and stuff, I prefer that kind of vibe more than, more than this, but this is where you have all like the, the restaurants and stuff like that on the beach front, so there's a lot more stuff here compared to the other place. And we're probably just going to relax here a bit, and then um, later on I want to continue, continue filming because I want to show one of the bars at night, like the night light, I haven't shown that yet, so... Yeah, that's what's coming up. It's night time now and we're heading to a bar that we went to two nights ago. I think it's called Barefoot Bar. Really nice, like, relaxing spot. Sometimes they have live music and stuff. I'm not sure if they will have that today, but yeah, we'll find out. All right, today we are going to drink. So here you have all these, like, rum drinks for about $4 each. I'm gonna try the Liquid sunshine, dark rum, fresh pineapple juice, orange juice, and a dash of mango. What are you getting? I'm getting the crazy crap. All right, now I got a drink called Watermelon Burst. It's dark rum, fresh pineapple, and watermelon. Really tasty though. Um, would you please leave from underneath our table. Excuse me. No, don't go. Don't go further in. What is this? <laughs> hey, Scooby-Doo. I'm not shaggy. Back at the hotel room again. So it wasn't too lively at the bar, it was like really chill today, probably because it's a Monday, so when we went two days ago it was a bit more lively. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the holiday now. That's the six days have come to an end. Tomorrow we're just pretty much going back to Belize City. Yeah, my impressions of Belize have been like, it's been a really, really good time. Um, me and Carol really wanted a vacation to just chill out. A really good place to come to do that because everything's just so relaxed and that's the main reason why we've just been chilling on beaches pretty much every day because our previous vacations were always doing like hikes and stuff like that. So we just wanted more of a relaxing holiday and yeah, this is a good place to come if you want to do that. It actually surprised me how like relaxed the vibe was both here in Placencia and in Kikaka. Just really, yeah, just really relaxing places. I don't think I've been anywhere like that kind of relaxing before. And me and Carol were talking before, we was thinking like, what's the best thing we've done here? And it was probably the boat tours. The best thing it, that we did in Kikoko was the snorkeling, where we saw all like the manta rays, the sharks and the big tortoise and yeah, the exotic fish, stuff like that. And then also here in Placencia, yesterday's video was the best day as well where we went around some deserted islands and like King Louis Island Resort, place that I've never seen anything like that before. So definitely if you come down here to Belize, you, sh you need to do the, the boat tours for sure. And as always, I will, um, I'll put all the videos of my trip here in one playlist, which I'll link at the end of the video in case you want to check them all out. And drop a like if you like this video, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos that I make, and I'll see you in the next video.